Shane Thomas at closing night of Frameline 35, San Francisco's International LGBT Film Festival, where Yahoo is the premier sponsor. Tonight is we're showing Christopher and His Kind, a really compelling story of Christopher Isherwood's life in 1930s Berlin. But what makes this even more special is that this is the end to an incredible film festival packed with new themes, great stories, and some really touching moments. So join us as we take a sneak peek behind the scenes, talking to some of the actors, directors, and some other surprises um, from this year's festival. I think it's significant simply because we've been around so long. Uh, you know, we started in 1977. It's uh, absolutely remarkable that we are having a 35th anniversary in 2011 that makes us not only the oldest but the largest LGBT film festival in the world. And we're also really proud of the fact that we're, we happen to be one of the largest film festivals of any kind in the United States. My feeling at this very second is that this was absolutely one of our absolute best film festivals. We had so many wonderful high moments, so many just fantastic films, and the audiences just went crazy for so many films. Every day it was like, I can't believe it's, we're seeing one more film, another wonderful film, another wonderful film. So for me, it's really just been one of the best film festivals we've had. There was Two, two things that I really had in mind as I was of wanting to do this. The first thing was that, you know, for years and years I knew that I was transgender, but I was terrified to transition or to let anybody know. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I had to kind of get me through and bolster me and give me strength was documentaries that I saw and people's books that I read. And so I really wanted to give back in that way. So I figure if I felt that way, there are a lot of other people who are, you know, terrified that if people find out if, that they're trans and if they actually do something about it, they will be rejected by everybody in their life. And so I wanted to do that for that reason. Whenever you make a documentary, you just learn to be more compassionate, less judgmental. I mean, you're, whenever someone opens their life up to you, you learn a gazillion lessons. Well, what inspired me about uh, Christopher and His Kind was the fact that it was just such a... I, I found it a, a film that starts out being so joyous and su such a celebratory film and him going off to have a great time to, to escape re the repressive mother and Britain and, 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 and how uptight it was in those days to have this sort of wonderful, hedonistic, exciting time in Berlin. And then gradually, as is said by uh, the character Wilfred Landau, the uh, sh shop owner, mm -hmm. that Nazis were spreading like a fire and then you kind of feel that through the film. And it was just the fact that it took such a tonal shift. And that really was what, what excited me about it, plus the fact it was about a, an iconic author. So those two things were a very compelling reason for me to say yes, please. It's, it's a pleasure to celebrate it because it, uh, 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 it has something genuine uh, about Chris. Uh, uh, and uh, he was an extraordinary character. And uh, uh, I'm continually reminded seeing the film, uh, uh, what extraordinary good luck I had in knowing him. I think the, the narrative of Wish Me Away is really not, it is a coming out story, but I think it's about, it's a universal theme of anyone who feels like they don't quite fit in, what that what that journey is like, and, and perhaps in seeing this, even if you're straight, uh, if you see the film, perhaps you'll have a little bit more empathy and understanding and uh, of what it feels like to be the outsider and to struggle, and, you know, maybe it might make people more kind to themselves and to others. So I believe that when you feel something, you open up. And I think that this film is going to open people up on a, on a, on a different level. Thank you for joining Yahoo and Yahoo Pride at Brainline 35th Annual San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival. We're already looking forward to next year, so stay tuned.